Mais that black yo magic 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 black yo magic That black yo magic That black yo look at that black yo Hey family and welcome to the Crown Me Color channel and podcast. I'm your host Treese and before we get into it, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Okay, so first again to my viewers because you guys know I like to be candid and just straight up. So I just want to thank you guys for just continuing to just follow, to watch, to leave your comments, to, you know, check in, to tune in. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate your patience um, as I'm just still, you know, getting to know the software, the editing software and, you know, just with everything. So I really do appreciate it. Um, one of the most frustrating things has been me waiting for businesses to respond just trying to get back a little bit of that you know background information in order to be able to provide my viewers with the most accurate um, information and it just hasn't been the easiest so um, I do appreciate it and then just moving forward we're just gonna go with what we have and if we don't know we don't know we won't say it because we don't know <laughs> all right so let's get into it so for today's episode, we are going to talk coffee, okay? I don't know about what anybody else, but like I drink coffee because it tastes good, because I like that, you know, soothing taste as I'm drinking it. I like the different, you know, some of the different flavors and everything, and I don't necessarily drink it to, to get energy or, you know, it's for that pick me up to wake me up necessarily in the coffee it's the soothness and the the hotness of it that actually kind of just wakes me up a little bit if that makes sense um i don't really do like all the sugars and all of that in my coffee unless of course i'm doing something like um like a caramel you know something like a drink with caramel or something like that um, but as far as like actual sugar, not really necessary for me. I can literally just do my cream and I'm good. Throw some whipped cream on top or no cream at all. Just throw the whipped cream on top. Like I'm good. I don't necessarily need all of that. But um, but I do love coffee. I have a French coffee press that I use for my coffee. I don't necessarily use like a coffee powder or any, anything. No shade to it. It's just it's easier with the French coffee coffee press and it just tastes a lot fresher to me um i do have a k-cup uh machine that i barely use like i just i just i don't know <laughs> nothing against the k-cup um it's cool it was cute when i first got it but um i think i just got tired and lazy like not just buying the k-cups like and trying to find the right brands that would give me that nice flavor that i wanted and for it not to taste you know so artificial or so you know not that great for it to be coffee you know what i mean so um but yeah like i really enjoy coffee and so i recently made a purchase which i'm so excited i'm waiting for my order to come so hopefully it'll be here within the next few days and i'll be able to taste it and let you guys know how it turned out and everything i'll maybe leave a comment in the comment in the uh, description box below and everything in the comment box below i'll probably let you guys know how it was and everything but um so yeah so let's get into it so for today's episode, um, we're getting coffee from Two Bros Coffee Co. Okay, I'll say that again. Two Bros Coffee Co. So, I believe they launched in early uh, 2019, but don't quote me on that. But that's what I believe. Um, two brothers, I'm not sure if they're biological brothers or not. But um, two brothers who basically decided to start a coffee company. I'm sure in their mind they're thinking not only is it lucrative, but that they probably enjoy themselves, you know, having a nice cup of coffee. Whether it be cold or, you know, fresh, hot, hotly brewed or whatever. So, um, but yeah, so they are currently located in Dallas, Texas. And then they're also located in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. So if you're in 
the Texas area or the North Carolina area and you're not that far away or you just want to take that trip just to support them, definitely check those guys out. Um, they're a small business, but I don't believe they'll be small for long. Um, just looking at some of the reviews and some of, you know, some of the reviews and pictures and everything from other people posting and everything. I think that they, they're, they're on their way, <laughs> definitely on their way. Um, but if, even if you can't physically make it there, don't worry, don't fret, you know, we got you. Um, they ship nationwide. So straight to your door so no worries if you can't make it order online for uh for your delivery um depending on you know your area and everything the shipping time and everything can kind of vary so um but definitely take check them out i saw on um one of their posts that uh they have customers in afghanistan <laughs> ordering their coffee and that's pretty dope to me like when you have consumers just ordering worldwide and nationwide like that like to me that's that's pretty dope and that speak volumes to me so yeah i thought that was pretty cool um but yeah if you can't make it there no worries just make sure you place your order online so let me just give you a little bit of information of what they actually provide and what they sell. So they have fresh gourmet medium and dark roast coffee. Now that's whole bean coffee. If that's what you like and you have your uh, your coffee maker and that's what you're deciding to do, you know, old school and do it, do it the regular way. They also have um, the fresh grounds. So, um, like I mentioned, as far as doing with the uh, French press, if you're deciding to, you know, keep it cute and, and old school still, but cute with your uh, French coffee press, with your French press, and you're just deciding that, you know, that's what you want to do. So, you have that option with your, your fresh grounds. Um, they also have K-Cups. <laughs> so, like I mentioned, trying to find that coffee that has that flavor and that taste and that freshness and you know that boldness that you may want you may have not been able to find those different k-cups you may you know have to continue to purchase the same brand well now you have another option all right um they also within their coffee they use those natural flavors so they're using like your fresh cinnamon they're using vanilla they're using mint um, they're using other fresh ingredients, but all without any artificial flavorings added. So that to me is a big deal. You know, you want to try to put in your body as natural, you know, as possible. Um, but so, yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, their K-Cups, they actually have has uh, fresh CBD infused in it also. So, you know, if that's your thing. And that's what you like you know you have that option as well um even they even have bottled drinks so they have um uh, bottled cold coffee they have uh pink lemonade lavender infused beverages um cbd infused bottled coffees they pretty much have a little bit of everything for you to drink um, when it comes to, you know, like some of those drinks that you may like and you have those options for those bottles to purchase either just one bottle or you can purchase a six pack. So you kind of have if you want to just maybe just try one out, you know, before just gun holing and buying the six pack and not really liking it. You have that option to just purchase one to kind of see, you know, and make sure that you like it. So I definitely um, have that option for them. And so, although I did mention that I feel like they are well on their way, I can tell that um, the quality and the presentment of, you know, the presentation of, you know, what they're presenting and selling to you is important to them because, um, you know, they've they've mentioned a few times that, you know, they are they are a small company that focuses on quality. You know, um, and you know, from what I hear, they brag on the taste of their coffee, honey. They telling, you know, once you drink it, you, you'll never go back and you set for life because you just gonna keep coming back. OK, <laughs> so um, I can't wait to get my order so I can put it in my coffee press so I can 
see what all the fuss is about, okay? Because like I said, I love me a nice fresh, you know, tasting coffee. And they have different flavors of the coffee. So, you know, um, like I mentioned, just, you know, with the cinnamon and the vanilla, like those are some of the favorite flavors that, you know, you're like, yes, give me more. <laughs> those natural sweet flavors. You don't have to add any sugar or anything additional to it. Um, so yeah, definitely geeked up about my order. Can I say geeked up? Is geeked up still the way? Is that still a little thing that they're saying? I don't know, child. But yeah, I'm super excited. Um, can't wait to taste it so I can um, leave them my review and let them know um, about it. And then I can let you guys know so you can kind of, you know, get an idea. And what I will say is that even their prices, um, their price ranges are, you know, not bad. Like, you, most places, I feel like, they're charging you an arm and a leg for um for coffee that's just my personal opinion um but you can get your 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 bag of um a few ounces of ground coffee for you know six dollars eight dollars you can get six k cups for six dollars um and we all know those k cups are expensive you some places you're um getting like 12k cups and you're paying almost twenty dollars so um it's definitely worth it and and for their like whole beans like their ground beans you can get that for um six dollars i'm not sure if it's by the pound or the ounce um some of it i believe it varies but um definitely like they have reasonable prices they're not charging you an arm and a leg it's still fresh no artificial flavoring so definitely worth a try i'm just saying like folgers is good and all but if you can get some nice fresh coffee from a black owned business hello did i mention it was black owned <laughs> okay so if you can get it from a nice black owned um spot and it's fresh just like Folgers or got that taste just like Folgers that you want why not buy black period okay but yeah definitely check them out oh and they also have um chocolate covered beans I was trying to get a little bit more scoop on that to figure out you know what the hype was because um I saw a lot of comments about you know the chocolate covered beans as well so I'm kind of curious to know like you know what the hype is about that and everything and um for a bag of those I think it was only two or three dollars so you know like I said the prices definitely aren't bad so when you guys get a chance check them out they also have hot chocolate some nice fresh hot chocolate for you so if coffee is in your thing and you like hot chocolate definitely check them out for the hot chocolate and you could definitely check them out for around the holiday times and you know when the weather starts getting a little cold or you know start getting a little cool or you may just have a taste for hot chocolate because i know it can just be like that random you know taste that you may get you know appetite that you might just get where you just want to have that taste or you want to have some chocolate and you don't want to necessarily eat chocolate so definitely when you get a moment check them out check out their website their information and everything of course will be in the description box below so definitely check them out um when you get a chance um they are looking to soon offer um a few other products um, with their brand and everything so they're looking to soon offer some natural health and beauty products including like um lemongrass some uh insect repelling uh soaps red clay uh mask for your face and everything and your skin um cbd infused k-cups um, with different potency levels so you'll kind of be able to have those different options you know for your um, potency and everything and they'll also you know start bringing out their two bros co uh, coffee co apparel so you'll start having your options to purchase t-shirts hats mugs um, fridge magnets wh whatever it is that you know you prefer to have you know you'll kind of have some of those different options to purchase from their apparel um and you know what now that i'm thinking about it i also remember um seeing wax melts 
wax melts for um i'm not sure if it was coffee scented but i, I believe it was but they have wax melts as well you know the give you that nice fresh you know scent in your house whether it be whether it be that coffee fresh scent smell or whatever the case may be so um definitely check them out when you get a chance one thing that caught my eye um about two bros coffee co is that they enjoy giving back they don't mind giving back and then as we all know you know that's like something that i enjoy doing i love helping people if i can you know what i mean so so as we all know about everything that, you know, has happened in Texas, you know, with the winter storm and everything that they dealt with and dealing with and everything. And they have been, you know, serving and giving out, you know, hot, fresh cups of coffee, hot, fresh cups of hot cocoa, hot chocolate. So um, I thought that that was pretty dope. And it and it kind of hit differently because they didn't really boast about it and. You know, I think I saw maybe one one uh, posting about it, but it wasn't something that they really boasted about. So you could tell that it was, you know, genuine. Um, it was something that they enjoyed doing, just being able to give back and, you know, help out those in need. So, you know, I thought that that was pretty dope. And, um, and they mentioned that, you know, that's just something that they you know enjoy doing giving back so you know kudos to two bros coffee co and i can't wait i can't wait until my coffee come y'all see how excited i am for some coffee <laughs> i can't wait to taste the coffee like i just can't wait especially with my french press like that thing is love okay so i just can't wait to taste it but yeah so <laughs> shout out to two bros coffee co y'all go check them out like i said even if you don't buy coffee and you want to try out maybe their hot chocolate or um you want to um maybe check out some of their cold drinks like definitely check them out um i definitely feel like i want to i want to try their lemonade too y'all know i like that that tart taste of my lemonade so yeah <laughs> Now, for the month of March, we all know that March is uh, National Women's History Month. So, shout out to all my women, my strong, beautiful, bold, fabulous, fierce, glowing, amazing women out there. Shout out to y'all for just being bosses and just doing, just doing a daggone thing. Shout out to y'all. Um, so for this month, we'll just kind of just highlight over, um, some amazing women for the month of March and shout out to my viewers, shout out to you guys, to the Crown Me Color crew and family, because you guys have been telling me that, you know, you're loving the black history facts and everything. And, you know, asking if that's something that we can continue to do, you know, not just for the month of February. So I'm definitely receiving that feedback and definitely, you know, taking that into consideration. So shout out to you guys for that. Um, so for today's um, amazing women boss lady <laughs> segment, <laughs> we're going to shout out um, Miss Irene Morgan uh, Kirkalade. I believe is how you pronounce her last name. Y'all know I'm terrible with pronouncing names. I hope I'm not butchering her name. Um, but she was actually born on April 9th of 1917 here in B-more. So shout out to all my Baltimoreans. All right. Um, she um, She's what I like to call... What do I want to say? She's like one of the first women to kind of like... Like the major... Uh, advancements in the civil rights movement who basically doesn't take any stuff like she don't take no stuff okay like she she's she was one of them um one morning in july of 1944 uh, miss irene she was actually recovering from um a miscarriage she was living in virginia and um she decided that she wanted to go back home to come back home to baltimore she boarded the Greyhound in uh, Virginia. She sat at the back of the bus 
um, which we, as we all know that, you know, during that time, the back of the bus was kind of a designated, um, you know, seating area for black passengers, although it was a commercial vehicle though. So let's just, you know, point that out and make that very clear because that makes a difference. Um, but yeah, so about, she was sitting in the back of the bus, the bus was pretty crowded and about 30 minutes on the road, a white couple boarded. And the bus driver demanded for her to give up her seat. <laughs> she refused to give up her seat. So the bus driver, the nerve of the bus driver, drove directly to um, a local jail. And the and the nerve, okay, let me just say that real quick, okay? Like the nerve, like these people trying to go home or wherever it is that they're trying to go. And because rightfully so, she doesn't want to give up her seat that she was sitting in first. You're going to inconvenience everyone else and then drive to, okay, whatever, I'm over it. I digress. But yeah, so the sheriff gets on the bus and basically hands her a warrant for her arrest. And she ripped it up. She ripped it up in his face. He tried to arrest her and she kicked him. Rightfully so. I'm not mad at him. <laughs> yeah, because I see, I wanna, it wouldn't have been good. It wouldn't have been good for me. See, God knew what he was doing when he allowed my, me to be birthed. In, in, yeah, okay. I digress. And um, basically, her standing against discrimination and segregation, um, it caused her to be placed in jail, basically. That's really what happened. Um, she went to court. She pled guilty to um, resisting arrest. But she did not plead guilty to violating um, the Virginia segregation law. Um, she lost the case. But the NAACP jumped in. Okay. Huh? <laughs> what they do? The NAACP jumped in as well as Thurgood Marshall. Who basically they took the case. They took it to the Supreme Court. Um, justices. They heard the arguments. Um... It was uh, Irene Morgan versus Commonwealth of Virginia. Um, and basically, it, it made a landmark. They made a landmark decision for uh, for civil rights. Now, mind you, this was in 1944. So, two years later, so June 3rd of 1946, they basically agreed that racial segregation violated the Constitution's protection of interstate commerce. Why did it take two years for that? I'm, I'm just, I'm a little baffled. I'm still trying to figure that out. So the South refused to enforce that ruling. And in response, a group of civil rights activists, they rode buses and trains across the states, all down south in 1947. And they named that journey, the, uh, they named it the journey of um, reconciliation. So they wasn't just going to stand for, for them just to do what they want when the courts have already and the judges have already deemed it to be what it was. Um, so yeah, she, um, so Irene Morgan versus the Commonwealth of Virginia, it served as a catalyst for further court rulings and the civil rights movement as a whole. So it was a big deal. It, it made, it made a big difference and it, and it kind of was that groundbreaking almost. Um, and so eight years later, the Supreme Court decided Brown versus Board of Education that segregation violated equal rights protection as stated in the 14th amendment and then check this out 1955 is when rosa park basically followed miss irene's example and refused to give up her seat to that white man in montgomery alabama so i would say that miss irene she she started she started a movement i can't really necessarily say if she was the very first just because everyone in their mind believes that you know rosa parks was the very first and obviously we know that she wasn't um and that's no shade to either one of those women because when you really think about it there wasn't social media and the news media wasn't as you know as wide 
as it is now but they were capturing every moment so who knows how many of us women have refused to give up our seats because as you see us women we're we don't take no stuff okay and that's not to say that men don't either because they definitely don't take no stuff but you know us women feet be tied probably head on some heels or something who knows working all day standing on up for uh, no so yeah um <laughs> But yeah, I thought that that was um, that was pretty cool, and it's pretty dope to know that she's a Baltimorean. She's from B more, so like, why not? Um, but yeah, so <laughs> and then also for her carriage, um, Miss Irene, she received a few different medals. She received the um, Presidential Citizens Medal, which of course we know is the second highest civilian, you know, medal award in the I mean award in the country. So yeah, shout out to her for that. Um, may she rest in peace. Um, she did pass August 10th of 2007. So um, still shouting her out from from earth to the heavens. <laughs> um, just shout out to her for that. That was that was amazing. But enough about that. Don't forget to check out Two Bros Coffee Co. Okay. Check out for their coffee, their hot cocoa, lemonades, CBD infused drinks. Definitely check them out. Support them. Why not? You're going to go to the market and get you some coffee. You probably need to get re-up and get you some more coffee. Why not just go to Two Bros Company Co um, Coffee Co? Why not? Check them out. Definitely don't forget. And don't forget to let them know who sent you. Let them know that the Crown Me Color crew and family sent you to check them out. And, you know, that's why you're placing your order. Show them some love. Show us some love. And remember, if you have any black-owned businesses that you would like for us to shout out, just send us that information via Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, definitely. And don't forget to, uh, to review, leave a comment, like share subscribe tell a friend we want to we want to extend this channel we want to we want to start boasting about our black owned businesses from state to state worldwide nationwide like we want to know where are you let us know all right y'all so again just like share subscribe don't forget to tune in Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll always know when we upload. Other than that, you guys stay safe. Wear your mask, hand sanitizer, you know, socially distance. And I'll catch you guys later. Carry on. That melanin, melanin, melanin. That melanin, melanin, melanin. That melanin, melanin, melanin. Melanie, Melanie, Melanie.